helps artists do promotion in terms of digital streams well connected guy so um she so we formed a group and we spoke about my future projects and how we can really push it out there in the west african market um so she came to me and said i think it would be a good idea for you to tap into that audience and i was like great idea i'm super down to do it so um we agreed on that and i started talking with the guy she connected me with we formed a group like i said talked about my future projects he actually helped me push some of my projects out there really good stuff you know um and then uh after that we also decided on that very during that very same meeting she was like yeah we should actually make a trip down there you know and do pr down there do a whole media tour out there and 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 we can help you get that together and i was like this is a marvelous idea i mean which artist would out in the industry and you're looking to grow your numbers anybody would agree to such a deal structure so i was excited i was like yes let's do it so um that, sorry there's a connection problem yes so i think now scissor my manager went to discuss prices with her um and she said oh yes this is not it's not exactly what was on her budget but i'm always willing to negotiate especially since i'm still new in the industry and i also want to have that experience on stage so i was willing to negotiate and then we spoke on phone a couple of times and we were we kept on trying to plan our nigeria trip and then this sars situation just happened the whole police brutality situation in nigeria so initially when we spoke on phone we had a sort of butter trade agreement whereby we were like, okay, I cannot meet your price, but what we can do, so I, we came up with solutions, and it was a mutual agreement. It's not like I went to her to say ABC. No, this is something we all mutually agreed on. And we said, okay, we'll do a butter trade, but when the time comes for us to go to Nigeria for our media tour, instead of you paying me for the show, she can easily sort the flights. Not because I couldn't sort the flights, but because she, at the, at the moment, didn't have... Uh, she didn't calculate a budget for me or something like that was her excuse. So we came to the agreement that when it's time to go and do our media promotion in Nigeria, which was going to kind of help me out with over there, that we'll, uh, that we'll do this sort of butter trade agreement. So it was all well and good. And then by this time, we've not signed any contract, by the way. You know, I was just going, I was just trying to give the benefit of a doubt because I won't lie. A bunch of people came up to me, I, I can name six, seven people, but I'm not really going to get into that, came up to me and told me, like, be careful, you know, talking from experience, just be careful and, and whatever. But I don't like listening to what people have to say, especially if it involves talking negative about another person. If you come talk negative to me about another person, I'll judge you more than the person you're talking about. So I decided to give it all the benefit of the doubt, and I didn't listen to what people were telling me. So I said, you know what, I trust her. We'll just go ahead with the plan. So when I spoke to um, Jamal about this and the rest of my team, and the whole police brutality situation is happening in Nigeria, I we came to the conclusion that, okay, we don't know when this is going to end. So clearly that flight butter trade deal, it's not really convenient because we don't know if this is going to end now, it's going to end next year, we're not sure. So we said the best way is for her just to pay us and we get it over and done with, you know? And keep in mind, my team and I really promoted that event. If you check on my page, I posted it at least three, four times, including on my story. So did Jamal. And it really gained a lot of traction. And keep in mind, we've not been paid a single cent for this. Not even one shilling. But we decided we'll give it the benefit of the doubt. So, um, fast forward, we said the best way to do this is just to pay us. Usually I sent her my rate card. She has my rate card. I say usually my price is X amount, but for you, I'm willing to go down almost a thousand dollars below it. So a hundred, almost a hundred K below it. I won't really name the exact price. Um, don't want to put it out there like that. Um, so we told, I sent her a message and I said, yes, my team and I have discussed and unfortunately we can't go through 
with this uh, barter trade agreement because of the SARS situation happening in Nigeria. We don't know when it's going to end. So we think the best way is just to pay me, but I'll even go down on my price. And my team won't allow me to board my flight from Mombasa to Nairobi because at the time I was working in Mombasa. They will not allow me to board my flight from Mombasa to Nairobi if we don't have payment. And they strictly told me this. So she didn't answer me. She ignored me. Uh, she ignored uh, the message. I tried calling her. She didn't pick up. I told my manager, Scissor, who was with her at the time, helping her on ground and helping her sort things on ground. He'd go to her and he'd, he'd, he'd tell her, yes, Tanasha is saying ABC. And she started telling him, oh, I feel offended, ABC. But in my head, I'm like, why would you feel offended? This is business at the end of the day. I can't be doing donkey work here. I'm not doing work for free. I'm not promoting for free, you know. It's only fair to be paid as artists for, for the work that we put in. People don't know what goes on behind the scenes. We work hard. We spend sleepless nights in the studios trying to bring out good music. And, and trying to entertain you guys and then people are out here taking that for granted doesn't make sense to me so she said that she felt offended and I genuinely told her I, she says she has screenshots but I have the same screenshots she's talking about I genuinely told her that look Bridget um, honestly speaking I'm going to be honest with you people have come to me they've warned me about you I, I decided to give you the benefit of a doubt I decided I'm not going to listen to whatever negative energy people are going to bring around me. Because like I said earlier, I don't like when people come trash talking other people to me. I don't like it. And until today, I don't. And she's a hardworking woman. I respect her for what she does. And, and like, she's a woman doing the whole events thing. And she did really well. But it's too early to start burning bridges over small things that can be solved, you know? So she fast forward back to the Mombasa situation. I was calling her, telling her about the pay. She didn't give us any feedback. She was ignoring. So my team decided, you know what? We're going to have to post the cancelled poster because she's not talking to us. She's ignoring us. And we posted the cancelled poster. And then she called me immediately after. Keep in mind for two days, she's been ignoring me. She called me immediately after and said, kindly take down the post. And I said, I have no problem taking down the post. And she was like, why would you do this to me? ABC, what have I ever done to you? I said, this is, this is just business. I can't come and do something for free. And clearly, we can't go with the first agreement we had because of everything that's happening in Nigeria. So things change. I deserve to be paid. So long story short, event didn't end up happening. Uh, I didn't end up showing up for the event, sorry. Um... Uh, I saw a few other artists cancelled as well. Uh, I don't know what their situation was. I'm not here trying to, to, to trash talk anyone. I personally feel like I had to clear my name just in case other promoters out there think, okay, oh my God, Tanasha could be the problem, ABC. This can affect my career. This can jeopardize uh, my reputation with promoters out there. So some things you have to address and you have to clear out there. Um... Yeah, so that's basically all I wanted to discuss to get today with you guys, to be honest. Other than that, I have a bunch of new music I'm about to come out with. Um, I'm releasing a video very, very soon uh, with Otile. So look out for that. Really, really excited for that. And guys, let's not make assumptions when you don't know the reality of a situation. Try to find out what the truth is before you go out there trying to trash talk people's names you don't know what, how hard people are working behind the scenes you know so try get your facts together don't assume things unless you have proof unless you see something for yourself because some things are never really what they seem to be honest never judge something by by one's opinion make sure you have your facts right other than that um I want to thank my supporters. You guys are really ride or dies, man. And you guys support me regardless all the BS that comes around. Regardless people trying to throw stones at me. I have an army of people behind me who really ride for me. And I just want to say I appreciate you guys so much. Now, Ashukuru Sana. Now, Penda Sana. And you guys are the ones that keep me going. Even when all this BS is thrown at my face, my, my supporters keep me going because of how powerful and how strong they are. So I want to thank you guys. I'm not here to, to talk bad on anybody. I was here to just clear the air, state the facts. Um, I have enough witnesses to back up what I'm saying. I have screenshots too to back up what I'm saying, you know. Um, and yeah, 
I'm not here for to spill tea. You know, if you want to find tea, you know where the tea pages are. I'm here to just speak the truth and and tell my side of the story. Other than that, now penda, now shukuru. I have new music dropping. Ah, we're shooting it on 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 Tuesday. Um, this song with Otile, yo, I'm I'm mad excited about this. It's it's big, man. It's 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 definitely danceable. I don't want to say too much. I don't want to say too much, but I'm excited. Um, you guys have a great day, great night, great evening. <laughs> Whatever you're doing, um, be safe out there. Uh, keep safe. Corona is real. It's happening. So just take care of yourselves. And yeah, let's be positive in life. Let's spread more positive energy. No need for drama and all of these things. And just know, I, I usually don't respond to things, but if it comes to a point where you're now messing with my with my career, it's like putting poison in my son's food. I'll have to come out and explain myself as well. So sometimes it is necessary. I'm not here trying to cause drama, trying to trend for the wrong reasons. No, I'm here to, to tell my side of the story. And other than that, that's that's it. That's it. Next time I will bring NJ Polis Jokwani Kisoma comments, guys. I've not been reading comments because I had a lot to say. Lakini, next time I will come live. Mtakuja live na Nasi, mnajua mnataka sana kumuona. Mtakuja live naye. Mtasoma comments tawajibu. Kuna watu wengi wamekasirika kwa nini siongee Kiswahili. This was a matter I had to address. It would be easier for me to address in English, basically. Long story short. Other than that, guys, stay positive and thank you for the support. Now, Pena, next time to Kuja could so my comments. I'm going to read everyone's comments and respond to you guys. But for today, I just came to address the situation specifically on live. I wanted to clear the air. Thank you. Love you guys. <laughs>